index collect formula within Smartsheet will be a game changer for you and your business. It will save you hours of mundane tasks. It will save you hours of constantly looking up data. It will, it will revolutionize the way that you use your Smartsheet. And in this episode, I will show you not only how to use the index collect formula, don't worry, it sounds scary, but I promise you it's an easy formula to learn. Not only will I teach you how to use it today, but even more importantly, I'll show you how you can use it to reference other sheets within your Smartsheet. It's a game changer. You're going to love today's episode. And at the end of this episode, I have a free gift for you guys. So wait to the end so you can get that free gift. All right, let's dive into this episode. Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I am your guide, Justin Rezu, where I show you how to use your smart sheet the right way. And in today's episode, is your is gonna be a good one. You guys are gonna love it, and I'm excited to go over it with you guys. And if you've been watching these episodes for a while and you're you're wanting more, I actually have a free lesson down in the bio below where it's everything that people have asked me about more than anything else. I created a video around that, just answering all those questions. And um, it's it's a full length lesson. It covers a lot of basics within Smartsheet. So if you haven't yet already, get that free lesson. It's yours. It's waiting for you down in the bow below. And uh, in this episode for Index Collect, it's a um, I'm going to break it up into two parts. So the formula, as I as I mentioned, is called Index Collect. And the first part, Index. Think of Index like a map. Index needs to know. It needs to know, okay, where are we looking up? What are we looking up and, and where is it at? Where is it found? Like what column does it live in? And then collect, it's simply collecting the data around some parameters. It's like, yeah, I can collect, but I can't just collect everything. I, I Give me some direction. I need some parameters. So today I'm going to show you how to take index and how to take collect, put them together into one formula, and it makes a magical couple. It will... Again, I know I keep saying it, but it will change the way you use Smartsheet. It will save you literally hours of data entry. All right, let's dive into this formula. All right, so here we have our sample sheet here for doing index collect today. And the sample I'm gonna to use today is say we have a bunch of client information, just a bunch of data right here. So we have client name, we have client email, and client phone number. And right now, obviously I only have uh, six rows here, but Let's say we have like 20,000 rows of just pure client data. Well, we don't want to have to constantly look back at this data over and over and over again and manually fill out, okay, we got Dutch Bros and, okay, what was the guy's name there? Um, was it, who was that? Oh, it was Rick. What was his last name? Oh, yeah, Rick Martin. Um, what's his email? And I got to put in his, like, you don't want to do all that. That's a bunch of nonsense, right? No one, you, no one's got time for that. Ain't got time for that. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, instead of using a text uh, column here, instead of the property being a text, we're gonna make this a dropdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the column type to a dropdown. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna highlight all of this information right here. And even if it was 20,000 rows, I'd highlight all of them. But for this one, we only got six, so I'm gonna highlight these. I'm gonna copy, go back here, do a drop down list down here. I'm going to paste them in and I'm going to click OK. Click Save. And then the next thing I'm going to do is so what I want is when I choose a client, let's say, let me even do it down here. Let's say I choose Crumble Cookie. If you ha haven't had Crumble Cookie, if they're in your area, I highly recommend them. Um, the cookies are very good. All right, let's say we choose Crumble Cookie. What I want is I want the client name, client email, and the client phone number to automatically appear for me. So I don't have to type a dime. It automatically appears for me right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into the cell next to it, and I'm gonna type in equal sign, and then start typing in the word index. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. And then right after that, I'm immediately gonna start typing collect. Let's collect. So it's a formula within a formula. The collect formula is embedded inside the index formula. All right, 
So the first thing it's doing is it's in the collect formula is it's asking for the range. In other words, what range of data do I want to populate? If I want the data to populate right here, and what range is that data found in? Well, right now, I'm just trying to find the client name. And here's the client name right here. So I'm simply going to put in this entire column. And to do that, I'm going to put in a bracket, type in client name, exactly how it's spelled right here in the column. Client name, close the bracket, semicolon, open up another bracket, type it in one more time, close the bracket, and see what it did there. As soon as I did that, it turned blue, and it's showing me it's grabbing everything within this column. Next, I'm going to put a comma for the next argument. Next argument is criterion range. In other words, how do I know that this is going to be the correct data point? Well, I know it's going to be the correct data point because I want the client list, crumble cookie, to match the same as the client list over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the whole column proper or the whole column for client. So I'm going to type in that bracket again, type client, close bracket, semicolon, put it in one more time, close it turned pink so we know it grabbed it correctly so it's going to be looking at all the clients in this column comma that match whatever client I choose here and to make it simple after I put my comma right here to make it simple I'm literally just going to click into the cell it said client list at row client list at row I'm going to close the parentheses I'm going to do a another column or another excuse me another comma and I'm gonna put a one and I'm gonna close the parentheses and all right Justin what the heck is that one for well remember we're in a uh, we're in a, a, a formula embedded in a formula so this whole time we've been working in the collect formula but when I close a parenthesis right here and did a comma now we're in the index formula and all that one is saying is find the first instance where they both appear. And I'm just going to put a one. I just want the first instance. I'm going to click enter. And there it is. Steve Humberg. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. This time for the email. I'm going to do equals index collect. And then I'm going to do what I want to look up. This time I want it to be the email, so client email. So bracket. Client email, close the bracket, semicolon, open, client email, do a comma, other bracket, client, semicolon, client again, comma, and then we're going to do Lost my train of thought, sorry. So we got what we want, got there. Now we want it to match whatever we choose at client list. So I'm just gonna click the row here, close the parentheses, comma one, parentheses again. And there we go, it populates it for us. And to speed this up for you guys, um, when I'm working in sheets like this, and I'm filling out for multiple different columns, what I usually do is I literally copy the entire formula, paste it in here, and then all I'm needing at this point is the phone number. So I'm just going to take out this first section here because I'm not looking up the email. I'm looking up the phone number. And then I'm just going to type in the name of this column, client form, phone. Client phone. Do one more time. Client phone. And there we go. Click enter likely does it for us all right and the next thing we're going to do to really speed things up for us is I'm going to right click into this cell I'm going to click convert to column formula I'm going to do that for all three of these convert to column formula again right click into the cell all the way down convert to column formula what that means is it automatically took this formula and it put it in all the cells for all the columns so like if I went way down here and I chose, let's say, Chick-fil-A, boom, 
populates it for me. Go down here, choose Chipotle, boom, populates right there. And this, again, really comes in handy when you have a massive list and you don't want to manually type in a bunch of stuff. The nice thing, too, about doing a drop-down list instead of a text box for this first column here is if you have a massive list, you can literally click into the cell, start typing, and then it automatically narrows it down for you. So that's always a plus for having a drop down. And that's how you do a index collect within a sheet. Now, if you stay just a little bit longer, I'm gonna show you how to pull data from another sheet. And this is where it really, really helps you out in your smart sheet. So I'm gonna to go to my next sample here. And I got my columns already listed here. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my client list into a drop down list. So I'm gonna go over here, copy this information. I'm gonna go into here and make this a drop down. Paste it in here, click okay, click save. All right, now that we're in a different sheet, again, these are two different sheets. We're literally in a completely different sheet within Smartsheet, but I still want to pull data from this other sheet. I want to pull in this information. So this formula is gonna look just a little different. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the first one we're gonna do is client name. So I'm gonna go ahead and do equals index collect. And then right here, a lot of people don't realize this or notice this where it says reference another sheet. This is the trick. This is where you go. You just click on this right here where it says reference another sheet. And we'll look up the name of this sample 1.0. 1.0. There it is. I'm gonna click on it. And remember, we're looking up client name. Here it is, client name. And instead of trying to highlight all this, all you literally have to do is just click on the column header. It'll highlight all of this information for you. And you don't have to do this, but I highly recommend it. Give this a name. Let's say client name, formula. I'm gonna click insert reference. And it's gonna put it in these squiggly brackets. And anytime you in a formula, when you see something in squiggly brackets, that's when you know it's referencing another sheet. All right, so we know we wanna look up the client name, which we just pulled. Next, what we wanna do is we just wanna have the client list right here at the row match the client list right here. So to do that, make sure your cursor's right after the squiggly bracket. I'm gonna do comma, click reference another sheet again. Again, I want my client list to match this list. So I'm gonna just click on the client list right here. We'll call this client list. Click insert reference. You see all my cursors before that? I wanna make sure it's after the squiggly. Do another comma, and I'm just gonna click on the row because it's saying I want the client list from the other sheet to match the client list in my sheet right here. And if they both match, please bring in the client name. All right, same as before, we're gonna do, after the parentheses, we're gonna do a comma one, we're gonna click enter. All right, now, if I pick Chipotle, it should bring in Chipotle's name, Susan Johnson. Let's see if we're right. Chipotle, Susan Johnson. Hey, look at that. We're gonna do that same trick where we're just gonna copy and paste. So I'm just gonna go over here, I'm gonna paste it in, this time I want to take out, I'm looking up the client name, I want client email, because that's the column that we're in. So I'm going to take this out, reference another sheet, and do click on client email, call it email, to reference, click enter, there it is. Do it again over here, or cell phone, or client phone, take this out. Reference another sheet. Just want the phone. It's a client phone. Insert reference. Enter. There it is. And just like before, let's convert these into column formulas. Just right clicking and clicking, right clicking on all the way to the bottom, clicking convert to column formula. Now, anywhere on this list, I can choose one of these and it automatically puts in the data for me. 
All right, there you have it. And I, uh, as I mentioned before, I do have a free gift for you guys. So I thank you for going to the end of this episode. And that free gift is I have the top 32 formulas that I use within Smartsheet. I have, I created a list of all of those formulas, what they do and how to use them. And it's a free PDF. It's the top 32 functions or top 32 formulas within Smartsheet. You can find that link down in the bio below. You just put in your info. It's just your name, email, and then that PDF will instantly be sent to whatever email you put in there. And you'll receive that email and uh, your free PDF guide on the top 32 functions, what they are, and how to use them within Smartsheet. All right, you guys, as always, take care and God bless.